Hello guys, welcome back to another episode review of EastEnders for 13th April 2022. We're going to start with Jean. Let's talk about her and Harvey. Uh, they're celebrating, obviously they got engaged. Uh, Harvey's bought her a ring from the market. Just as a temporary ring before the big deal. Um, said they're probably going to go, sh well they did go shopping later. Uh, but, you know, they're having breakfast, all happy. And you know what, I really like them. Um... It's just unfortunate Jean's going through something, um, like an episode as Stacy describes it. And obviously they share the good news to Dana. Dana said that she's going to uni. I don't know how I feel about Dana going to uni. I don't think that's going to happen because I think she adds a lot of... Well, she doesn't really add much in the sense that she's not being given enough storylines. Apart from Bobby. But I think they need to give her more fresh storylines... Besides, you know, Bobby and stuff. Uh, if you know, if she goes uni, trouble is, um, she, that might mean she might have to go away. I mean, I hope she does, but she's com she's living at home. Um, I think that's that's the way I feel on that situation. And obviously, she's happy for Harvey and Jean. And honestly, they generally look happy. Um, again, just unfortunate. Jean's actually going through an episode. Um and they went ring shopping later, and they were having like look at the rings and jeans and foot. You know she's nicked one, stolen one, put on her hand or finger, and quickly replaced it the one she had on her finger, the one from the market. And obviously, um, yeah, I think it was like a five or ten grand ring, wasn't it? It's a lot of money, and if, obviously if you're caught with that, definitely you're looking at prison because it's a lot of value. And I don't know, I just, yeah, I hope she's all right. And, you know, they can return the ring somehow without the shop owner finding out. Obviously, that's going to be impossible. Um, yeah, I my, my take on that is, you know, hope Jean gets help ASAP because obviously what she's got good with Harvey's great and Harvey's kind of got her family's set up as well like you know dana and he's you know his fiance and stuff especially after going through with all that aaron business and right we're gonna move on from that now and talk about ben and his situation of uh, beating up homophobic people in the alleys and stuff and apparently he's beating up a few now and almost killed one of them and I just find it a bit unrealistic. How can you do something so, um, well, big, like right around the corner, like in a in an alley or in a, like just behind the gates and stuff? Like you're gonna get caught. I'm surprised he hasn't been caught all this time. You know, if Sharon can spot him, I'm pretty sure other passersby can spot him. I mean, this is London after all. They do need to make that a bit more mundane. And the fact that you know he couldn't fight back when. You know, he was, they got harassed out of that situation and, and beaten up when Callum, Ash, you know, Stacey and Eve were there and, and stuff. But now he's all of a sudden, he's beaten up four people. I don't know, it's not mundane enough. I think if he just done the once, that would have been real and preferably not behind some like passageway behind a gate, probably somewhere else. That's just what I think anyway. Um, I think they need to, honestly, my think that my 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 opinion is that they need to give ben and cal like they need to give ben different fresh storylines like something other than his his uh, they they've they've covered this this storyline like you know gay stuff storyline they they just covered all that so they you know give him fresh i'm pretty sure the actors even tired of 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 like i get it's real like they probably do, they probably get attacked on the streets. Not they're probably my mistake. They do get attacked and stuff on the streets and stuff. And you know, EastEnders are trying to highlight this, but as viewers, we want to watch fresh storylines. Like Ben's got a garage to run. He's he's got so many business. Maybe do some sort of money laundering or some sort of money scheme storyline. They there's, there's what I'm trying to say is. There's so many doors for storylines for Ben because he's already got that set up in EastEnders, but they just EastEnders they just focus on that one thing. Um, right, we're gonna move on to Dottie now. Screen now she's getting along with the Panasars very well, and 
what I'm thinking is, obviously, she's kind of wants to feel like she's part of a family because I don't think she's had that before, apart from Dot. And I just think that she doesn't really like. I'm confused whether she's with Vinny or not, and you know, it's whether. It's confusing. I think this whole setup is going to end in tatters because obviously we all know Suki, she's a dangerous woman. And if Dottie toys with her son and her son goes through something, I think Suki's going to release all her wrath. Do you know what I mean? Like she's going to go ham on Dottie. So I think Dottie's got to be careful here. Make it clear she doesn't want to be with Vinny and she just wants to feel, feel part of the family. That's not a problem. Quit while you're ahead is what I'm trying to say. And let me know what you thought of the review, guys. Comment below what you thought of the episode. Let me know if I've missed anything out. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.